Lord, we pray for these young people, O oh Lord, the Google generation who are addicted to online gaming laptops. As we just heard, uh, this has become such a menace that Outlook magazine has had to run a cover story on this in the month of August 2020. This is such a uh, this is a, such a problem that uh, Lord parents are put under pressure by young people to, to get them to get a high-end gaming laptop costing lakhs of rupees Lord I pray for every young man who is addicted to online games I'm sure there are some games that are, are clean and fun and, uh, which we can play for 15 20 minutes uh, but i pray for young people who enjoy killing people virtually murdering people virtually butchering people virtually and doing other ungodly things maybe stripping i don't know what is involved because i've not even looked at these things uh, other sinful things online oh lord uh, lord we hear of uh, even cartoon characters being skimply clothed where clothing where nothing is left to imagination even in, on, in cartoon uh, even in these gaming characters Lord I pray that you will remind young people of your word your word the ten commandments you shall not murder your word the thing that David did displeased the Lord David watched, watched the Bath of Bathsheba Second Samuel 11 27. I pray that they will get back to the narrow straight path, O oh Lord. I pray that they will remember your counsel and your word. So many times, or Paul mentions it, Peter mentions it, that we cannot be mastered by anything except by the Master Jesus. Help them remember that John, uh, what John wrote in the last chapter of the Bible. In, Re in Revelation 22, 3 through 5, where only slaves of God will find entry into heaven. If you are slaves of anything else, we need to repent of that slavery and come to Jesus and become his slave, loving slave, bond slave, as Apostle Paul calls himself in Romans 1 1. I pray our young people will realize that, Lord. Lord. I pray that our young people will get off these gadgets and. Uh, sit in front of each other Lord the family members you know, play carom board they will get they will sit on the bed and have pillow fights of fun and laughter that so they'll play hide and seek and those good old days will come back and rather than burying themselves with sound cancelling headphones connected to their high-end gaming laptops and they Lord destroy hours and hours hours and hours of a 24 hour day six hours seven hours eight hours nine hours playing games on their gaming laptop forgetting about daddy and mommy and forgetting about brother and sister forgetting about their daily devotion i pray young people will take the challenge to read 10 chapters of the bible every day from the 10 different bible sections the law books the pre-exilic history books, post-exilic history books, wisdom books, minor prophets, major prophets, six sections in the Old Testament, four sections in the New, New Testament, Gospels first, Acts second, Epistles third, and Prophecy fourth, Revelation, Prophecy fourth. Help them. Lord, we think of the council in Psalm 119, which says seven times a day, I looked at the I, I looked at the word of God seven times a day meaning just like we pick up the phone 70 times a day or 700 times a day the word of God is saying it's a better idea it's a it's a godly idea to pick up the word of God seven times a day repeatedly pick up the word of God and read it find out what God wants me to do how God wants me to change my thinking and change my behavior seven times a day I meditated on your word as we read in Psalm 119 we pray for our young people, Lord. We pray that they will find liberty which only comes through a relationship with Jesus 
who died for them on the cross. Amen. 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 Amen.